Hello world, this is Random Fix and today we're going to see if one of these portable units can measure up against a 120 volt air compressor that I've been lugging around with me with an extension cord and anytime I have to put air in my tires in the RV here I have to turn on my generator and I've been trying to find a, a portable little compressor like this where it just plugs right into my cigarette lighter and it works that can actually pump these tires up to 61 to 65 pounds of pressure and I've tried a couple of other 12 volt compressors like this and two of them have gone out so I'm definitely looking for something that can work these last till about 50 pounds and after 50 pounds something happens inside and they stop working so I'm definitely looking for a replacement because I'm not looking to lug this in equipment around anymore and having to run a generator and these tires hold a lot more air at a much higher pressure than regular vehicles so today we're going to be trying out this auto lead 12 volt plug-in digital air compressor and, and for staying tuned till the end i'm going to share with you guys my two tips for using a portable air compressor like this and how to get the most out of using this all right with everything set up now we're going to go ahead and see if this compressor can get the air pressure up to the 61 pounds of pressure here. And this becomes really useful when you're able to go ahead and set your own desired pressure. So I'm going to set it at 61. And with that set, now I can just go ahead and hit a button and walk away. And this is going to make life a lot easier instead of having to sit here and just constantly let the pancake compressor uh, pressure up and then try to get it back into the tire here so let's see how this goes so this is definitely going to be a test for this little compressor especially on an RV like this guys you normally have dualies in the back and for the dualies in the back this is going to take a long time using one of those pancake compressors like I've been using so I'm really looking for something that's definitely going to pull its weight and I'm excited about this And there it goes, it got it up to 61.5 and didn't even have a hiccup. The unit is actually relatively cool, doesn't have any hot contact points. Obviously the line is going to be a little hotter and that was pretty impressive. So a couple other cool things about this particular unit that I wanted to mention on here that we had was a light. And if you hit it again it turns into a strobe light and also an SOS light so it's got three different modes on there for the light so that's definitely going to be something that's going to come in useful on the side of the road but very light and easy to store unit and I even like the way that when you go to store this away the cable all just winds up in here and it's a lot easier than some of the other units that I've used in the past and it also comes with a few accessories as well as a carrying case which is really cool and as promised, I told you I would share with you my two favorite tips for using a portable air compressor like this. And number one tip is get an extension like this. These are about like seven, eight dollars, and they really make it where you can access the rear tires. You can get into difficult locations in case you got to pump up a friend's tire and the cigarette lighter doesn't work. That happens a lot. You're definitely going to be able to go ahead and use one of these, and it's definitely going to be worth carrying around and this tip number two is a lot of these jump packs like this one right here this is from tac life you can actually use these jump packs if they have a 12 volt accessory mode to go ahead and power on this unit and with this tac life jump starter i'm able to go ahead and power on the unit using the little adapter here and now we have power so definitely really cool especially if you're in a bind or you got a really long vehicle these things are going to make it a lot easier and you're not going to have to go and run wires all over the place. And I hope the video ch helped you guys out. And if you guys haven't done so already, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. So anytime I post any videos that are aimed to save you time and money, you guys will get notified. So make sure you hit that bell icon there as well. And thanks for watching and have a great day. Hit the subscribe button and I really appreciate your continued support.